What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today, I have a box full of surf fishing reels that I purchased within the last year that uh, I want to talk about, plus one, and then this bad boy. So let's dive right into it. First off, I want to say that somehow I managed to break these all in some way in the last year. I think the one that lasted the most is this one and that lasted possibly nine months. Everything else I damaged within three months and uh, some were in two weeks. So let's talk about it. These reels are good, except when I was fishing with all these, I was fishing every single day for like 12 to 15 hours a day in the surf. Sometimes I dropped it in the surf. Sometimes waves came up and crashed. I was fishing jetties with them, but let's talk about them. And uh, I, I would recommend all of these to people that aren't fishing like that. But let's go. All right, so let's go in order with what I purchased first. My first setup that I actually made on my own was this Pen Fierce 2 6000 series. I put 50 pound braid on it and then switched over to 30 pound. This is a beast of a reel. It could pull up a lot, but as you guys can see, I damaged it in a way and destroyed it. I dropped it in the surf with all the sand and everything. Once you do that, these fierces are toast. You know, they're not sealed and sand gets in, salt water gets in, they corrode. You got to wash your gear all the time. But once that happens, I mean, literally the internals of this are all grinded up. You could probably hear it, but it's got some grinding to it. And once you put pressure on it, like you catch a fish with this reel, you, you can barely turn the handle. Um, this is this is done. I think this was like maybe ninety dollars. So this lasted me three months, I believe. All right. My next purchase was this Pen Conflict Two Four Thousand. As you can hear, it's got some sound to it. The handle is hard to turn. This is what I used for my video a couple videos ago with the light tackle. This reel and it, it's broken. The gears are grinded down inside. It's semi-sealed and uh, just months after months after salt water, uh, dropping it in the surf. Or if you put it between your legs and hooking a fish and a wave comes up, you get some sand and stuff inside of it. it does some damage. I mean, it still works. It's just once you put pressure on it, you can barely crank it, just like the other one. Uh, this is the Conflict 2 4000. I had this on a nine foot rod and honestly, I don't think you should do anything more than an eight footer but it's also a good good reel. This lasted, I think the longest, this was like nine months or something like that. Uh, it still works, but up until the nine month, it was working perfectly, but here we go. My next purchase was this. This is a Spin Fisher 6 5000 or 5500 series. This lasted me two weeks. <laughs> two weeks of fishing every single day for 17 hours, fishing jetties and hardcore blues, big 18 pound blues, catching these on the jetty and uh, off the surf and less than me two weeks. And I, I contacted Penn about it. They didn't respond to me for three weeks after that and then said that uh, it was over the 30 day original period that I purchased it and they said they couldn't do anything for me and uh, they wouldn't help me. So that, that was directly from Penn. Anyway, I had this on a 10 foot tsunami airwave and this was this was a good reel for the two weeks that it worked and uh, the internals are, are a little fried I took everything apart cleaned it re-greased it it's still grindy once you put pressure on it you can feel and hear the bearings just like grinding it, it's it works it's just very noisy and uh, not perfect anymore this was I want to say hundred and seventy dollars the conflict I think was hundred and fifty but that was my third purchase. This is all within a year. My next purchase was a Saltex, I believe. A Tsunami Saltex. That was a 4000 series, as you guys saw in my older videos. A lot of you ask where it went. I destroyed it in Montauk, the main shaft, uh, when I was pulling up a fish on the rocks. It, like, it shifted somehow and while I was cranking the fish up, it was just a little schooly. 
it grinded, I think the anti-reverse or whatever's holding that main shaft, it grinded it on the internal body frame of the reel and grinded down a section of it. So every time you cranked it, it was grinding and grinding and grinding. And it was just, you couldn't fish it anymore. They're supposed to be, um, I think they say 75% sealed, but if it's not 100% sealed, let's just go with it's not sealed. Um, water got into that as well, and that reel was just toast. I contacted Tsunami, uh, everyone was good, returned it, got a new one, sold it. Um, then I went to a Spin Fisher 6 4500 so that I could fish with a 9 foot rod or an 8 foot rod and have something that was kind of sealed. This thing lasted a couple months. Oh, that Tsunami Saltex lasted three months total before it was fried completely. This thing lasted a couple months. I let Erica use it and she fell into the surf and sand got inside this, salt got inside of it. It still turns, it, it's pretty good, but we had to clean it out and it, I mean, it works, it's just not perfect. Uh, I, I forget whether or not when you put pressure on it, if it's hard to crank. But uh, again, this is a 4500, it's a small reel. I put on like a eight footer. But I would say this, this still works. This is Erica's Pen Conflict 2. This one, she fell in the surf and it's completely fried. <laughs> the Pen Conflict 2 4000 long cast. So if you want a comparison between the 4000 and the 4000 long cast, there you go. That's the two. This is a lot smaller and casts farther, honestly. You can you have a lot more line on this. If you cast far with this, you're basically running out of line. So keep that in mind. I think it takes like 50 yards less of line because it has a wider spool. But again, this one's fried, barely cranks, and uh, it's just toast. So after I fried all those reels, I went and bought this because when you add up the prices of all of those and the amount of hours I put into fishing, it makes sense to have just gone to a van stall. But that's because of all the hours I put fishing, what I'm fishing, I'm fishing jetties, I'm fishing in the surf, I'm going in Montauk and putting my rod down so I don't trip and fall in the rocks and the waves. So this is a good reel for that. And this is like 800 bucks on Amazon through a company, a local, um, tackle shop but if you're not fishing all the hours that I'm fishing or my boys are fishing me and Erica whatever if you're not doing that you're not swimming in Montauk you're not doing whatever like insane surf fishing and you don't need an $800 reel if you plan on doing that get that right from the start do do a van stall 100% sealed uh, you get a, a service at the end of the year and keep up with it that reel's gonna last you a long time but if you're a weekend guy going out once or twice a month. Spin fishers, conflicts, just don't go swimming with this, clearly. Conflicts, the Fierce is the cheaper, it's like 50% this price, uh, but overall, if you're not spending a lot of time on the water, you're going out once or twice a month, maybe even a couple times a month, you know, let's say three times a week, or three times every two weeks. You can get away with the Spin Fisher 6. I, I prefer this over the Conflicts. Honestly, this one's a little heavier than the Conflict, but I prefer this. It's it's a little bit beefier and it just the feel is, is better with the Spin Fisher 6. And uh, after all the reels I've broken, uh, I just wanna say that if you're not hardcore fishing, don't get advanced all, but if you are doing the weekend fishing and not fishing so often, and you know, you can get away with these reels. I'll link everything that I talked about in this video in the description below. That way you guys can get your hands on these really easy uh, through Amazon or, or something like that. You can get all the um, data on these, you know, how much line it holds, the drag and all that. But I would say these are really, really, really good reels. Just not for someone who's fishing 17 hours and pulling up 18 pound blues on the jetty every single day for three weeks straight or swimming in Montauk. So don't let this video discourage you from buying these products. I'm not sponsored by Penn at all. They actually don't even know I exist. All of these reels are pens except for this Van Stall. And I'm a pen guy, you know, like I, I like pen for salt water. They're inexpensive and they work. So go ahead and get yourself some pens if you're not doing uh, 
crazy amounts of fishing. Even if you are, you can get away with the spin fisher and, and the conflicts and even the clashes. You know, it's just a matter of how you take care of it and, and uh, don't mistreat it. So I wish you all the best of luck on the water. If uh, you guys do purchase this, let me know how it goes. Let me know how, how many fishing trips you get out of it. And if they go quick, let me know too so I can keep guys informed. But thank you guys for watching. If you want to help support us in some way, we are selling smooch and release beanies and hats, wristbands, stickers, inline spinners for fresh water that I make by, my hand, by myself, handmade. And uh, you guys can purchase all that on smoochandrelease.com slash shop. If you're new to this channel and, and uh, you like this video, got something out of it, be sure to give this a thumbs up and check out the rest of the videos. We're catching a lot of fish in the videos. It's just cold and it's little tiny fish here, if anything. So we're not really doing too much of that. We got a lot of freshwater videos coming out and uh, a ton more that I, I don't want to expose yet. But we got a lot of really cool things coming out for you guys. So be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't and share this video. Help someone out. Let's learn together and uh, get on some fish. So thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. I'll see you next time.